Kick some ass. Number three. You well, three. I was gonna say Chris is hella not, cool. Yeah, hella he's cool. very cool. Hella cool. And Chris, not so much, man. You get your ass kicked and you man, don't get any chicks. This has been a. I'll he's tell you, barely what, it's been a really me. rough. This has been a rough day. The more people that point this out to him. there's no chemistry here at all. <laughs> it is. It's been a deadly day. My ego's taking a real shot, but I'm gonna pull through it. I'm gonna rise above that just dark abyss of just that morass of depression, <laughs> and I will say that I'm. Happy for this young man that he got to have the girl and kick some butt. I had a lot of fun getting my ass handed to me. Just don't fall off your chair. And uh, and here he goes, more with the disparaging comments about how I fell out of the captain's, off the captain's chair. Captain's chair a couple That's of fine. Times. That's fine. Now you got to kick the crap out of him. I sure did. Did you like that? How was it? Talk, tell me it. about that scene. You who doesn't want to choke the shit out of Captain Kirk? <laughs> if you don't tell me your name, I'm gonna have to make one up. It's a horror. Now you got a chance to actually. Meet the 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 shell, the the real or the or I should say the real, the original. The original. Yeah. Uh, uh, it helped so much to to meet her and to and to have her blessing. I just felt so amazing because Uhura was a very important character, especially at that at that time. And she hooks was, up. And she does, which is very very cool. And what a hookup! I mean, you know, that was uh, that was the amazing thing. When reading the script, I was so surprised. <laughs> Uh, to see the uh, the relationship between her and Spock in this movie, and it really is, it's the heart of the film. Your father was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives, including yours. Chris, you're obviously playing an iconic character, a character that's been synonymous with uh, William Shatner's name. You know, how was it for you taking on that responsibility? Um, I think originally I was very wary of taking on, well, not only entering something that was a big bu budget blockbuster kind of movie with a lot of expectation there, but then, of course, it was the Star Trek world. Um, but after I met J.J. and realized that he was bringing a, a new vision to it and one kind of a fresh perspective, I was, I thought it was a really interesting challenge, a, a matter of finding that balance between whatever I could bring to it that was new and however I could kind of maintain a sense of continuity between what Mr. Shatner had done and myself. Now, I had heard you send a letter to him. I did. I wrote him a letter very early on. I got the part, wrote him a letter, told him who I was, and, you know, I knew that there was some bad blood. And, and I, I mean, clearly, if, you know, the guy, the man has played the character for 40 years, and then here's some young kid who's apparently, uh, you know, here to take over his part. And I yeah. just wanted to let him know that, like any actor, I was looking for a good part. And the good part that happened to land on my doorstep happened to be the one that he played for many years. And he was very kind and wrote me back and wished me all the luck in the world. What was it like directing Leonard Nimoy then? Um, the thing is, he's so mean. Oh, yeah, he seems that way. He's literally the nicest man in the world. So, you know, although I was very nervous walking up to him the first time to give Spock notes. Right. Which is yeah. not, not what you want to do, necessarily. Under penalty of court-martial, I order you to explain to me how you were able to beam aboard this ship while moving at warp. Well, don't answer him. Are there eyebrow issues there? Uh, well, he had to shave his eyebrows for the... Zachary did for the part, so... Yeah, I wondered about that. You know, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite tell if... Well, he, he shaved his eyebrows and literally, uh, we... After, after did that, we were like, I guess they'll go back. But we, we just, you know, it was this dumb thing where I just, we crossed our fingers. And they did. Do it, do it!